Hey, uh, what's up guys? What's up YouTube? Um, I'm about to do my much anticipated supply drop opening. As you guys can see, I have 3,147 crypto keys plus 200 COD points plus 10 free rare supply drops plus a special weapon. So pretty excited. I'm over well over well not well over but i'm prestige master past that over level 100 in this game and uh i really wanted to do this opening so here i go nothing too great but yeah um i've really been waiting a while for this i wanted to make a youtube video i wasn't sure you know, even if I was going to make a YouTube channel, what I was going to do with it. But I think this is a good way to start it off. I saved up for so long, so, you know, it's something I might as well upload to my YouTube channel. And, um, it's pretty crazy because I haven't seen many YouTube videos or many people that have this many crypto keys at once. Minus maybe T. Martin, who you know has Activision, give him all those COD points. Or, you know youtubers like that but i i don't even know if uh there's five accounts in the world that have this many crypto keys like this is something really special i think the doom stream account had something over that because they got to level 1000 i don't know if they even used a crypto key they probably did but i think they had like some crazy number but this is a lot this is over 3000 so it's pretty crazy you know i get to do a lot of openings so that's pretty cool um there's a lot of new weapons that came out like the fafar hg40 there's a lot of cool melee weapons and you know i'm just gonna try to see what i get along with there's some pretty cool camos in this game too you got ice camo you got a lot of other epic camos uh like ritual monochrome they got some cool ones and i'd like to get those for my guns because as of right now I do not have dark matter and at the start of the game I wasn't really sure what I, th I was planning on going for it, but I don't know because in BO2 I had diamond camo and that looked pretty cool and dark matter looks really cool too but I don't know this game it's a lot harder to get your guns diamonds for, to, in order to get dark matter there's a lot of bad weapons and you have to get headshots with the shotguns instead of one hit kills that's kind of annoying there's a lot of weird guns a lot of weird weapons that i'm gonna have to use and i don't know just the people i play with um we mostly just go for like gameplays and stuff like that or sometimes we just play just to chill have fun or whatever but for the most part we don't use like stupid weapons and stuff so yeah probably not gonna be that it's probably gonna piss off the people i play with if i'm using like a crossbow or some shit and they're trying to run spawns you know so i'm not gonna be using that stuff i'm happy with you know not having dark man it doesn't really bother me um i got all my guns red hex for zombies so zombies you know i got everything done but there are a lot of cool camos as you can see i get some here i got storm for the uh svg right there but there's a lot of cool camos in this game that uh, I'm going to try to get for my guns. I probably won't get all of them during the opening, but... Well, obviously I won't get everything I want, but... Try to get some cool camos I could put on my guns. I have diamond camo for, like, my um, assault rifles and submachine guns. But that got kind of old. I got that pretty quick, and I've had that for a while now, so... I could put on some other cool camos, like gem right there. You can see I'm pretty happy about that. So, uh, hopefully I get some pretty good good stuff. I've had a decent start. Uh, some gestures, too. You know, just something. Hopefully I can get maybe a dabbing gesture. You know, maybe hit the whip or something. Just anything to make my, uh, make my soldier look even more of a faggot out there on the battlefield. Anything to make him look like more of a faggot. I'm not sure about these legendary variants either. I'm not exactly sure what they do. I don't know. I guess it's just like... I really don't even know what they do. They don't really help the gun make it better as far as I know. So, yeah, As far as I know, they don't really 
help the gun any better the variant so I don't really understand the whole purpose of having a variant but I don't know at least it's not like advanced warfare where the variants made the guns a lot more powerful and unfair that that was kind of annoying and that's coming from someone who probably had every single variant in the game and almost hit Grandmaster Prestige in Advanced Warfare. I mostly played uh, ranked play in that game because I don't really like public match. But I played I played uh, my fair share of public match. I could say that not many people enjoyed the variants in that game, like the Obsidian Steed and stuff like that. It was kind of unfair for people who didn't have it. Um, I don't know. That's something that most people would not like to see return to Call of Duty. I get another variant here, HVK grip variant, common camo. Trying to get some epic camos for like my VMP, my Cuda, Razorback, stuff like that, guns I use a lot. That's what I'm looking for. I'd like to get like a Fafar or an HG40 or something, that would be nice too. Hopefully I can get one of those throughout my opening. At least something good. Cool melee weapon or something. Preferably a weapon though, like a gun. It's kind of cool to think that, I guess in a sense, I got monochrome there for the knife. How quickly I'm just burning through these crypto keys and to think how long it took me to earn them. It took me months and I'm just burning through them so quickly. Kind of crazy, didn't you think about it? I don't know, what do you guys think about uh, the whole crypto key system in this game? I think it's definitely better than the supply drops in Advanced Warfare. At least it's not like weapon variants, that was kind of stupid, but... I don't know. I don't think it's really a bad idea. I kind of like getting like camos and emblems and stuff. I think that's kind of cool. It gives you more incentive to play the game, I guess. Keeps people entertained. But I don't, I don't know if I necessarily agree with getting new weapons. Like, say, getting the Fafar or getting the HG40. And for people who don't have those guns, they kind of feel left out. Or I don't know if they feel left out, but... A little bit jealous, I guess. Like, those, it's cool to have one of those weapons, but... It's not like they're, it's the best weapon in the game. It's going to make or break whether you're a good player or not. It doesn't really matter. It's just kind of cool to have it, I guess. Personally, in my opinion, I don't like them bringing old guns back. I feel like it's kind of weird to think, but I almost feel like it's like disrespectful in a way. Like, the FAMAS... Everybody loved the FAMAS in Black Ops 1. It was so popular, and then they just kind of, I feel like, almost trash it when they bring it back to this game. They give it a new name, and they just throw it in Black Ops 3, which it doesn't fit the play style. It's, this game is a lot more movement than Black Ops 1. And same with the HG40 coming from one of the older CODs. I started playing Call of Duty in like Black Ops 2, that's how I started playing multiplayer, so I don't know what Call of Duty it came from, but I know it was an Origins in that game, but I feel like it's, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of disrespectful bringing old guns back, I don't know why, that's kind of weird to think of, think of it that way, but I feel like it kind of is, like that gun was meant for that era, and everybody liked those guns, and then they just bring it back and just kind of trash it, they started that with Advanced Warfare. I don't like them bringing old guns back. Like if they brought the AN-94 back or the MSMC, which I really like, that would kind of anger me a little bit. So, Well, this is going to conclude part one of my supply drop opening. I'm going to have a couple more parts. I'm going to have to split this up because the video will be so long. So There's going to be multiple parts. Didn't get anything great so far, but hopefully I do. So just uh, stay tuned, check out my other videos, and hopefully I get something great. Thanks for watching.